everyone is looking for a quality YouTube client for Steam Deck. I'm going to show you how to set it up, configure, convert your subs, and optimize the controls for FreeTube right here on Steam Deck. Stick around. All right, let's get started. We're going to start off in desktop mode, and we're going to open the Discover Store. And we are going to search for FreeTube. And we'll just do a nice simple install here from the Discover Store. Easy peasy. And we'll go ahead and let it install. Okay, it's now installed. We're going to go ahead and look at it off of the main menu here. And let's find it. We're going to go ahead now and add it to the desktop, and we will add it to Steam. As you can see, the little bouncing Steam ball is telling us it's adding it to Steam. Fantastic. Now, let's open our browser. We're going to go to this URL, this Monroe World URL. You'll find it in the description below. And click on the YouTube subscription export plugin. Add this to your Chromium-based browser. So this will work in Chrome, it'll work in Brave, anything that's Chromium based will work fine. Now that you have the YouTube subscription exporter, go ahead and open YouTube, make sure you're signed in, and you can see, I'm going to reload just to make sure here, and you can see all of your subscriptions. I've got like 26 of them or something crazy like that. I've got a lot of subscriptions. I don't want to have to remake all of these inside of FreeTube. So I'm going to use this YouTube subscription export click here to copy subscriptions to clipboard. Boom. Okay, so now it's on my clipboard and I'm going to go back to that page. I wrote this specifically to convert these. These are not in the right format, but after you hit convert, it'll convert them and send you a file, a CSV file called FreeTube Subs. We're going to save that. This one is actually compatible with FreeTube. Okay, and we are pretty much done with the browser at this point. So I think it's time to go ahead and get busy. We're going to go ahead and load FreeTube. And as you can see, it uh, looks fairly plain. There's, it says our subscriptions are empty. We're going to fix that in just a minute. See, channels are all empty. There's pretty much nothing in here. So we're going to go to Settings and down to Data Settings. Import subscriptions and then import the YouTube CSV file. Go to your downloads where you downloaded that conversion. And as you can see, it says it's taking a moment. You can watch the little progress bar as it brings them all in. And done. As you can see, all of my subscriptions and channels are here. Awesome. I don't have to put any of those back in now. And this is all disconnected from Google, by the way. This is a nice privacy-based uh, uh, YouTube scenario. We are going to go in here, though, and change this base theme to dark. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't do that much white. That was making me crazy. Okay, so now I think we're ready to go back to gaming mode. All right, back to gaming mode. And there is FreeTube right there front and center. All right, let's go in. The first thing we're going to do is go into controls, and you want to use a layout called FreeTube Steam Deck. It's in the community layouts, and it's one at the top by Clark Diggity. So if you haven't already got that, which I happen to already have, now you're ready to go. And you can take a look by clicking View Layout. Here's what all these buttons, switches, and knobs do now. So there's things like volume controls, scroll wheels, all sorts of good stuff to really optimize the experience. Thanks so much to Clark Diggity for producing that for us. That's awesome. It's going to make this a lot better. If you don't already have a mouse, of course you can still use the track pad and buttons, but it really is really nice to be able to use like your control stick and buttons to do all sorts of fun stuff. You can see down here I'm scrolling. Yeah, look at this. This is great. I mean, it's almost YouTube, but not quite. And that's okay, though. That's kind of what we're looking for here. And, of course, you can go in here and search. And there's that good-looking guy right there. 
and we can go ahead and subscribe. Now this doesn't subscribe on your Google account. So if you were to subscribe here, you would not see it if you went back to your regular Google account, but it is for here. And if this is going to be your main use of Google, then it works out just fine. I think the next thing we want to do now is go ahead and skin the layout so that it looks good in our Steam OS interface. Let's do that next. Okay, we are back on the desktop. This is the best place to do this. We're gonna go ahead and open up our browser. We're gonna to go to this URL and grab some artwork that I put together. It's very basic stuff, but it'll get us by. So we're gonna go ahead, download that. We'll go into our downloads folder. We're gonna go ahead and extract this. All right, and so I've got a basic banner, a basic box, and a basic icon. Obviously, you feel free to get whatever you like. We're just gonna do something to get us by. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna right click, set custom artwork, and this is a banner. So I'm gonna go to my downloads, art. And so I'm gonna make sure I have all files turned on. Grab my banner, okay, looks good good enough for government work. We'll change this one. We're gonna set this custom also to the banner. Yeah, that could be better, but it'll do for now. We'll set the custom logo as the icon. All right, that'll work. And then we need to go back to our library and ah, go here, manage, set custom artwork, and we'll set the box once again. Perfect, all right. So now, um, yeah, so let's jump back into gaming mode and see how that looks. Hey, that doesn't look too bad when we're over on the gaming side now, does it? We hop back into here. Oh, well, it's still stretched up here. So yeah, we would, uh, we would wanna probably do something with that. But listen, for now, it's probably okay. And that's it. And now I have a completely usable YouTube app on the gaming side that I can use gaming controls for. I don't need a mouse and keyboard for this. And I have access to all of my channels that I had previously when I was using the Google YouTube uh, website. Uh, this, uh, this is great. I mean, this is, this is definitely the way that you want to enjoy YouTube on the Steam Deck. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got something out of it, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You guys know what to do. Help me grow the channel. If you wanna see more videos, just like this one. I'm Shane Armonroe, and as always, thanks so much for watching, and take care.